Chris van der Trisse was born in Alst, Belgium, in 1968. He studied economics at the University of Brussels. In 1998, he moved to Italy, where he is now the CEO of his own company. Since he was 15, together with his brother, he has been deeply interested in everything that is science, or is beyond science. So, since then, he has studied and investigated in order to find explanations on topics such as our distance and dark history, strange natural phenomena, extraterrestrial connections, biological evolution, the basic axioms of physics, mathematics and astronomy, and everything that cannot be explained. Today, we have the chance to ask him around these new published books, Decode of Arthur the Seaford. Hi, Chris. Thank you very much for your presence. Uh, hi. Uh, it's my pleasure to be here. Listen, what is your book about? Tell us. Um, my book uh, actually um, tells about uh, a mystery, um, the procession. Uh, it's uh, something I studied for uh, around 10 years, and uh, I found out that the procession is not um, the phenomenon that uh, people think it is, but it's something something else. Okay, so your book suggests that a physical event is changing our climate. Or how did you come upon this? Uh, well, um, people uh, people think about the changing of the climate uh, always at uh, the behavior of the people. Um, I mean, the, the, the how they say the pollution, the pollution. Uh, but there is something else that is changing our climate. Uh, it's a natural phenomenon, and uh, it's even worse. Uh, it's uh, it causes a real damage on our planet. Uh, and this is the procession. And uh, science is not talking about this. Okay, so for our audience, because you mentioned this procession cycle, what is it exactly? Uh, well, um, you see uh, the uh, stars turning around the Earth once uh, in a day, because the Earth is turning. And you see them also turning once in a year because of the orbit of our Earth around the Sun. But uh, all the stars are also turning around the Earth once every 25,776 years. And uh, this is called the precession. So uh, science says, uh, as stars are not turning around the Earth, that it's the Earth that is turning. But is there another explanation? Yes, there is. So science didn't look at another explanation. And the other explanation is, when uh, our uh, solar system is positioned in our Milky Way above the galactic plane, so, uh, I don't know, the galactic plane from our Milky Way and our solar system is above. And because of the turning, it should go outwards and downwards. It's, it's uh, normal. But our, our Milky Way is going upwards and uh, in the center, towards the center. So this means that it's against um, scientific principles. Uh, so we can consider, did our Milky Way go from out, our, uh, our solar system came out from out our Milky Way into it and go out again? Of course not. Our solar system has just an orbit between other star systems. And if our solar system has an orbit between other solar systems, uh, star systems, then you should see the stars moving around the Earth. And science doesn't see it, doesn't put the link between the precession cycle where you see the stars going around the Earth and the, the orbit of our 
solar system. So our, uh, the precession is actually the orbit of our solar system. And there is another proof for this, the, the direction of the orbit of our solar system is perpendicular to the axis of the precession. So this is a double proof that the precession is an orbit of our solar system. Wow, it's impressive. Uh, thank you. <laughs> it's important information if it's true. Um, so uh, our solar system, uh, our ancestors looked to this uh, orbit of our solar system, so to the precession, uh, and they want to see in which moment we are of this orbit. And so they look to it with the zodiac. The zodiac are all stars around the Earth. And looking in a day of the year, for instance, the solstitia, uh, at the, always the same hour, for instance, when the sun came up, to the stars at the horizon, in which time they were at the, the orbit of our solar system, at the precession. And they divided this time frame with a cross, uh, with uh, the four cardinal points of the cross. Um, and so these cardinal points, which are not north, south, east, west, but for the data in the precession, have something special for our ancestors. So they were, they were watching, watching a lot this procession in order to see when they arrive at these certain dates. Okay, that's very interesting, but if you agree with me, I leave the rest for the readers, <laughs> okay? Okay. <laughs> okay, so thank you, Chris. The Code of Author Deciphered is now available in bookstores and digital platforms, a publication by Europe Books.